Welcome back guys, thanks for joining me for another beer review. Uh, we are heading off to another beer that I got from Trembling Madness. Uh, they're out of York, ordered online. And it's another beer that is also a first for me, a first for the channel. And what we have is a brewery out of Brighton, and this is from Umbard, and this is a can of their Bueno Shake. It's a milk stout with chocolate and hazelnut that's kind of bueno, so it says. Uh, it's a 440ml can. It is coming in at about 5.5%, I think. I'll try and find it on here. God. As I always say, my eyesight is awful. Where is anything? I can't see nothing. It's bloody... Let's have a look. We'll find it somewhere in a minute. Well, hang on. we got some light here, but Jesus Christ. 6.4% I think it's saying, or 4.4, let's have a look, bear with me, this is awful. Yes, it's coming in at 6.4%, blind Baz can't see a thing, like I say, anyway, first one for me from them, out of Brighton, 440 mil, 6.4%, let's get my little price list and I'll tell you how much it was. I believe it's had uh, good reviews, this one. Uh, bueno, 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 unbarred. Unbarred, is that gonna be on the next page? Uh, yes, it is £4.75. pence. So, uh, yeah, it, I mean, it's not massively expensive, but it's at that higher end. But there's also £4 beers in the supermarkets that, you know, I don't know what this is going to be like, but I know there are four pound beers in the supermarket that don't live up to that four pound price tag. So maybe this beer is maybe going to be along them lines. I don't know. Let's not make any judgment. Anyway, nice artwork. Like I say, I don't have an unbarred glass. I haven't got the all the beer, no idea one. So we're going with the Magic Rock Stout Glass, if you like. I got that when I ordered the Dark Arts. So let's stop chatting shit and get on with this review took it out the fridge and as usual because Baz chucks his beers everywhere it's decided to go fucking nuts Baz note to oneself stop throwing your beers around because you make yourself look a dick I'm gonna let that settle maybe shall I let it sit I've got to let it settle and I so I'm gonna pause this and we'll come back in a minute do you know what sod it I can't be asked to wait <laughs> Can't be asked to wait, look at that, dreadful pour. We've got a pint glass there, we've probably got about a third of a pint of beer, two thirds of a pint of head. To me, looking up at the light, the beer is nigh on jet black. We've got a rather large head, I'm not even gonna tell you the size of it. The beer is going up a bit more. It's a real thick, creamy, compact head. You can see a couple of large bubbles in there, but it does look real, from, you know, Take it from there, just imagine that's all you can see. It looks really good, doesn't it? Doesn't it look really good? That looks like a nice stout, doesn't it? <laughs> right, dive in. I, I'm all, straight away, I'm already smelling what it is saying, what it is. Uh, but we're gonna dive in on the nose. I'm maybe gonna be stupid and try and swill this beer. Yeah. As well as get it on me nose. Good review, this one. Going down like a fucking Titanic, or the Titanic. Chocolate, hazelnut. It's got that wafer biscuit kind of aroma to it as well. It smells a little bit sweet, but not sickly sweet. It really does smell of Kinder Bueno, that sort of thing, or even, I mean, you could even say Kit Kat. Maybe a little bit of caramel there. It does smell really delicious though. So I'm gonna stop wasting time. Let's give it a try and we'll top it up after. Cheers. Ooh. That's nice, that is. <laughs> yeah, you could say it's maybe a novelty beer. You could do. Uh, Let's go in again then, get on with the review. Oh, 
Body seems quite nice. I'm not going to say it's hugely heavy, but it does have a nice body. Really, really smooth. It's got a creamy feel about it. Carbonation is there. It feels kind of busy in the mouth, but it's lots of small little bubbles that aren't, you know, whacking the old insides apart. Like I say, smooth and creamy, so the mouth feels nice. Body's decent, carbonation's nice as well, even though, like I say, it is feeling a little bit busy. I'm trying to pour this a little bit better, as you can see. I think we're still gonna end up with a rather large head on this beer, but we're just gonna to have to go with it. So, I swear I've been robbed, I only had that much in it before, didn't I? Probably have been. Uh, yeah, so let's dive in and give you some tasting notes. <clears throat> Pardon me. Now what it doesn't have, I would say, we all know that typical sort of stout sort of taste in the background that you sort of get. It doesn't have so much of that. It is there, but it is really toned down because all the other flavors are taking over. I don't know if it's got lactose in. I am gonna try and see. Yeah, there is lactose in it. Had to be really, didn't it, being a milk still. But that lactose isn't massively overpowering. Sometimes with some of these beers with lactose in, they can be overpowering with lactose. For me, again, I'm, I'm not looking at this properly. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna say before I look properly, you get creaminess of milk. You get that sort of subtle stout sort of thing. You definitely get the chocolate. You definitely get the biscuity sort of wafer thing going on. You get a little bit of caramel, you maybe get vanilla, and this is what I wanna see if vanilla is in there. Uh, yes, there is vanilla. Uh, hops and Magnum and Cascade, by the way. There's no oats to sort of give it maybe a thicker body. And you, you could maybe think there's a bit of an oaty feel in the body on this. but it's sort of smooth, it's sort of creamy, there's a bit of vanilla in there, you're getting the chocolate. Like I say, the biscuity wafer sort of thing. There is maybe a slight, maybe on the back end, sort of like a little bit of a hint of coffee and maybe a, a, a tad of bitterness in that sort of coffee taste. Uh, 6.4% is absolutely nowhere. You really wouldn't know you are drinking a 6.4% beer. Really drinkable, but I'm gonna say it's really drinkable for one can, maybe two. Because although that sweetness isn't overpowering, that sweetness in there is, is in there uh, and generally People drink beer and it's not sweet. So unless unless you're like a massive sugar holic or something, I don't think you're gonna drink any more than maybe two of these. But Umbard's Bueno Shake, it, it, it does exactly what it says on the tin. It is enjoyable. It's a one, maybe two can at most. But if you wanna try something sweet and a little bit different, Give that a go. Uh, if you see it, try it, like I say, because it is tasty. Oh, I'm full up of gas now, I do apologize. Uh, if you've had it before, let me know what you think. Let's finish this quickly. Feel free to like and share the video. Feel free to uh, subscribe to the channel. That's it, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you again soon on another one. Cheers.